unexplained fig roll to me. You're not as bright as I thought. But the bright star here has come from Wales, but Ireland at last post some points. Yep. Welcome respite from the pressure Wales have exerted on Ireland. And Johnny Sexton able to nail the points. They'll want to start becoming a bit more physical. I mean, they'll be surprised at the lack of physicality from Ireland so far in this game. They need to step particularly in view of what we've seen from France so far in these warm-up games. It's been really physical up front. I think they're a little bit lateral. We saw a great break from Ian Henderson. Uh, strong Welsh defence in front of him, but great little footwork, and, and that's what he brings. Ireland have just got to get over that game line. Their work rate and their, their application the breakdown has been first class so far. Peter O'Mahony. 32, which of course limits the options then for the players behind him. And uh, nice hands from Aaron, but it's all on the edge. That the best policy, a question for the boys. I'm sure they have. With a very lonely furrow at that moment. And you look at the breakdown, he seems to be battling a lot of Welsh jerseys on his own. Yeah, well, the Welsh numbers are good at the breakdown, and, uh, you know, Heaslip makes a tackle here, gets in, locks in, a little bit of help from Luke Fitzgerald, we can see the left hand around the back, that helps when you're in there as a player, it stabilises you a bit from that hit that you're going to receive from the opposition. Ireland, 16 wins out of 20 under Joe Schmidt, that already under threat in this game, as Jimmy Heaslip takes the line-out ball, and... Robbie Henshaw with a characteristic charge from inside centre. That's Keith Earls in the midfield, where he is, of course, comfortable. Played alongside Darren Cave. Both centres played well in that game. Connor Murray. Oh, another little fumble in there from Ireland. Again, they were closing in on the red zone of Wales, and then the little nudge. Yeah. These games are called warm-ups for a very good reason, getting used to things, but so be worrying yeah. Ireland slightly is how ineffective their phase play at the moment. They're not making yeah, cool. significant enough yardage. Right, They're doing good off the first down. phase, making good yardage, and then after that, as you mentioned a few okay, times, okay. when he, the ball's been slowed down to pretty much walking speed. But Wales are getting that balance really right there. Henshaw makes an initial surge, and they're relying on some footwork to get him through that little gap. Ken Owens, the hooker, okay, makes it, the carry gets back in his feet again and slows that ball Connor Murray's digging for the ball the next rock there's nobody in it there's no Welsh player Scott Williams makes a tackle he bounces up around and there's no contest then so they're getting that balance brilliantly right Wales Ireland is that pick up and go a little bit more just to pull in defenders they're not attracting enough defenders absolutely I think they need to run around the fringes a little bit harder uh, sex there's just so many guys running out so many numbers in front of Sexton and they're really coming off the line really line. well. So, you know, this is typical Sean Edwards' yeah. defence. Well, we'll scrum against Ireland and uh, Cardiff. It was about as stable as the Chinese stock market. But this time, it looks much more secure. Is that where you've invested all your millions, is it? Crouch. Bind. Set. Get in chase screen. Hit and chase, you might have heard Craig Joubert there, hit Ireland penalised for hitting and chasing. It's a bit finicky, that one. He blew it very, very early. I don't know if there was much in that, but... A little boost for Wales there, and Thomas Francis again. Craig Joubert, by the way, will handle both of these teams in the World Cup. He'll be refereeing the Ireland-Romania game and the Australia-Wales game, which might be pivotal. In comes Rob Carney. Great take again. My goodness, he claims those balls well. Connor Murray for Ian Henderson. Again, he tries to use that quick footwork on the floor, which can be so effective as he's already shown in this game. As he wants to be full back, commitment and conviction. Saxton and Keith Earls once more popping up in the middle of the pitch. Didn't quite work, but Ireland still have possession through Luke Fitzgerald, his first start in the 13 shirt for Ireland since a game against Argentina in November 2008. Loose from Ireland, Jack McGrath grapples on the ball, on the floor for the ball and collects. Sexton, that looked forward to Rickard Strauss. Was that another error by Ireland there? Well, actually, the Welsh 
committed the first infringement there, which was offside. Like the ball is good. There's no offside breathing ball. space for Ireland and Johnny Sexton at the moment. The pressure is re relentless from Wales. They're getting back on their feet, reloading, getting back in position, pressurising, keeping that line speed going. And it's closing down the space, it's suffocating Ireland and Johnny Sexton at the moment. Yeah, it's very, very impressive. That line speed is incredible and so difficult as a player when you make tackles, get back on your feet, get organised, look what's in front of you, communicate, and then actually push forward. So they look very fit, they look very sharp. And you mentioned Rob on commentary, they've had some in-house games in the last few weeks, and it's obvious to see that. Strice for Ian Henderson, six foot seven inches to aim for. Robbie Henshaw, now Luke Fitzgerald. Conor Murray. It's a bit more like it from Ireland. Just getting a, a modicum of momentum there. Now Nathan White, the former Waikato captain. 33 years of age and his first start in an Irish shirt. Jack McGrath carries Key and Healy, maybe on the bench next week, we hear, against England at Twickenham. Oh, a thundering tackle coming in there on Paul O'Connell. He was almost upended. I think it was Dan Lydiot in classic style. Lydiot's certainly the last man to get up. Here is Heaslip. The captain in Cardiff was Jamie Heaslip. Oh, and just yet again in this first half, just when Ireland look as if they're beginning to cause an issue to this Welsh defence, they, they knock on or concede a penalty, and that's the seventh penalty Ireland have conceded. Yeah, Ireland are throwing numbers into the breakdown, and they're still being beaten. I'm going to commit more and more green jerseys to every every breakdown. But Wales seem very adept, and only slowing that ball down, but turning it over as well. And that time, Tipperick very much in evidence. Well, it's an awareness, yeah, and when to go in, when not to go in, when to compete, uh, and when 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 the ball is lost, and they're get they're getting that right at the moment.